So I'm going to show you how I did this one. Let's go. Um, so again, really simple scene. Just want to keep it simple for now. We're doing, um, it's really good to uh, start with just something simple to learn. So one thing I'm going to say about this is uh, the UV map on channel 2. Um, this is really important for the lighting in Unreal Engine and what I've done here is that when you can see the one on the inside I've made as large as possible. So that's that. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on the UV mapping Got another layer called inside, so these are just a series of boxes again. So really nothing complicated at all there. Then we take it into Unreal Engine. So part one, I did the model. Part two, I'm going to talk about the lighting. So lighting only here I uh, worked on a um, I've got a spotlight here in the middle which I've made as warm light again it's very important to do the distinction and I've got this strip light here which I modeled in 3d studio max that we can't really see and so the skylight is very important here because it gives us really nice diffuse blue light coming from the outside. And so for here, I'm going to give you the settings for the lighting that I used. I think it's here. Yeah. Light mass mass settings. So here we go. So indirect lighting smoothness 1.1. So it smooths out a little bit here. Lighting quality to 10 and then uh, static lighting to one. So normal 12 bounces. So what I, yeah, what I've done as well, I've ticked this on the lighting and override the light map resolution and made that massive 2000 pixels. I think it's big. Not all of them. 2024 the ceiling is really big and then um, well this one I didn't change but most of them I've made really big um, and that gives a really nice smooth daylight uh, look and so now the material so I've spent ages on this floor because I really wanted to get this is um really exciting because um you know in V-Ray or as a render this would take a long time to render to get this really nice blurry effect it takes ages whereas this is like whoa 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 all um all in real time it's amazing so I'm just gonna give you a quick tip on this on this uh, material here because if you um, work in a standard material every time you make a change so say if I change this color up I need to apply click apply there and and then you, it takes a long time to change it's got to apply it's got to update the the scene inside so let's just cancel that 
um, I've created this material as, and I've called it base material. And what I've done here is that all of um, these that would call here the color and all these constants, I've actually changed them into a parameter. So I've clicked here and here where it says constant, I've changed it. I said convert to parameter. I can't say that very well. Parameter. Um, and what happens, okay, and this is brilliant, is that I create, here if I right click, I do create material instance. And that is now my floor. Okay, so you can see here material uh, floor. It says floor material instance. I'm actually pointing to the screen there where you can't see me. But so floor material instance. And so what happens is that when I click on this material here now, watch this. Okay, there's no apply button here. And I can change here the roughness in real time. So this is really, really fantastic. It's really exciting. I haven't explored the full capacity of this, but basically, as I understand, you can have any parameters showing up in here and um, it gets, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's incredibly powerful. And then you've got this really great um, window here to preview, which is not quite exactly what it's showing up in the scene, but um, this is another layer of the material, which is really fantastic. So yeah, that's, that's really the main thing about this material. To be honest, I did, I worked on the water as well, which was great fun. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to say about the materials for now. And then again, I created my post um, process volume, post process volume. Um, so I'll take you through that a little bit. Uh, white balance, not much. Film, again, I really like to do this sort of warm up, warm up the, the highlights and to cool down the shadows so you get this warm, cool effect change the contrast and then um, crush shadows that crush um, crush highlights down a little bit so that, that sort of prevents it from being blown out too much um, seed color I've ticked it I've brought down the bloom as well because this bloom is quite um, quite strong and then the auto exposure as well. I've moved up the exposure bias because it's quite it's quite a dark space, so I've moved that up. And then that's it, really. So easy peasy, really simple. So now for the little um, demo, we're gonna um, play. Put it in the Oculus. Great. So. All I do is press play here and put that on, press the space bar, and here we go. And what can I say? It's really the, um, the movie's playing and I am uh, basically in the space. I can see it. There's a funny sphere there that shouldn't be there, but it really is amazing because if I wasn't taking, talking to you, I would actually feel like I am actually here. And my gosh, it really is impressive. Oh yeah, see, the water is moving slightly. Very, very gently. I feel I could go for a bath. So I'm just going to try and move a little bit. Press W. And it's just amazing because, gosh, if you were a client, wouldn't you just want to do this? If you're a designer, wouldn't you just want to 
give this to your clients anyway so there's there it is and um great so i hope you've enjoyed this um let me know if you've got any questions in the comments please subscribe uh press the like button if you did that would really uh means um a lot to me and youtube and let me know if you've got any issues or requests in the comments below um subscribe to the uh newsletter by clicking on my site and um you can subscribe there and you get all the uh, updates I send by email, lots of uh, tips and things that go out in the newsletter that you don't necessarily get in YouTube. So there you go. Lovely to see you again and see you next time.